Alright, uh, today I'm going to do a quick tu uh, tutorial about bearing. Yeah, basically what I do is I try to like uh, cover everything you will need to know about the bearing. And and the ba bearing, this topic only happened for the SPM math. I, I mean it's not for MF. So yeah, let's start discuss about the bearing. Alright, for bearing, basically you will need to know few information about bearing. The first thing is you must remember bearing always start from north. Always start from north. So whenever you want to find the angle of bearing, you always need to find where is the north. Alright. And then the angle of bearing and then the angle of bearing always rotate. Uh, clockwise, right? Always rotate clockwise means the same directions with the clock. So, so you have to understand if here is north, the if here is north, the the angle itself is always rotate this direction. The angle cannot start from the other direction. This one is wrong. Okay, so you have to understand this. So, if if it's north, always this direction is the correct one. Is the correct one okay? So yeah, this is what I mean by clockwise. You cannot rotate anti-clockwise from the north, alright. And then the last but not least is yeah the bear the bearing always three digits. Okay, this is some basic information. Okay, so let's uh let's try to do, uh give you some example. So let's say uh this is north and then. This is just a ran uh, random example. This and another north. This is P. This is Q. Okay, let's say I give you this one is basically 70. And then I ask you to find a bearing. To find a bearing P from Q. Okay, if bearing P from Q, the angle itself is at a Q here. So that's mean. Okay, so that means you need to find the angle from from the Q here, from the north of the Q, rotate until you touch the line connect P and Q. So you see what happened here? This is from the north of Q. I'm going to rotate the angle clockwise until I touch the angle connect P and Q. Okay, this is the angle I want to find. This is the angle I want to find. Alright. So in bearing this topic, you, you must understand north and north, they are parallel. If they are parallel, we actually learn about this. Two parallel line, the interior angle plus together must equal to 180. Alright, must equal to 180. So this one will be 110. Okay, obviously uh, this one is not accurate. I better put this one 110 <laughs> and this one is 70. Then it sounds more logic because this angle should be smaller than this angle. Right, so if this is 70, in order to get the bearing P from Q, I know the one side uh, one circle is 360. So what I will do is I will use 360 degree minus 70 degree, then I will get 290. Okay, this is how I get the bearing. And then, and then I always want to make sure it's three digits. So yeah, so this is my answer, 290. Okay, what do I mean by always three digits? Normally in bearing, if is the bearing is 7 degree only, but we want to write in bearing form, right? So we will write 007. We just want to make sure it's always it's 3 digits. Right. So, just uh, an another, uh, just let me f finish about this example. Okay, so let's say I change a bit. Uh, I change a little bit here. i trying to find the, uh, the bearing, maybe Q from P. Q from P. So in order to find a bearing Q from P, the angle at P here. So this is the angle at P here. So at a P here, so I will from the north of the P and then I will rotate the angle cl clockwise. I cannot rotate anti-clockwise, huh? anti-clockwise will be wrong. I will rotate the angle clockwise until I touch the line connect P and Q. Then it will be 110 only. I do not need to solve anything. Alright, of course in the SPM exam, the bearing question will be uh, much difficult than this. You will have the triangle problem and all that. So in this video, basically I will prepare uh, 
four question, uh, which is include the triangle, which is very very close to the real SPM question. But then in this video, I I will not cover those like very difficult sparing questions. Maybe I will make another vi video for the uh, the so called KBAT question or hot questions. Right. So just do not waste your time. So let's take out the first example. Okay. So for this example. Okay, this example, okay, for bearing question, you always need to find where is the north, where is the north. So in this case, the question actually tell you something like this. Q is due north of P. So Q is due north of P. If this is Q, this is P. So Q actually at the north direction of the P. So I know north going to be this direction, isn't it? So I will extend it and then I say the north is here because Q is due north of P means q actually at the north direction of p so you must understand this question in order to find your north because in bearing question if you can't find your north basically you can't solve it all right so when i got the north ready then everything will be very simple first thing i find out this is isosceles triangle or sagitiga samagaki so what i understand is when here is 39 degree here will be 39 degree or so so since I have both 39 degrees, I can easily get my third angle, which is 180 minus 39, and then minus 39 also. So 78, so I guess I will get 102, because both of these is 78. So that means this angle is 102. Alright, so if this angle is 102, the question asks you to find the bearing R from Q. So basically, you want to find a bearing from Q. The angle itself is at a Q here. So from R from Q, that's mean from R from Q. So basically, you 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 need to find, you will need to find what is this angle. You see R from Q. So I from the north of the Q, I'm going to rotate clockwise, clockwise until I touch the line QR. Okay, this is basically the idea. So. So basically, you know this is 102. Easily, you know this is one straight line is 180. This will be 78. So the bearing itself will be 0, 078 because I say always must be 3 digits. Okay, this one question is very simple. So let's have a look on the next one. All right, let's have a look on this example also. Okay, this example basically the question doesn't give you much information except this question actually straight away gives you the north. If the question straight will give you a north, it will be quite simple. So, and then I know this equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means three sides is the same length. Alright, so I know each angle should be the same also. So, okay, so, okay, wait, some technical problem. So I know this one will be 60 degree, this one will be 60 degree, this one will be 60 degree. Right, this is what happens for when it's the same length. Okay, find the bearing A from B. So from B, the angle at B here. So A from B, so what you will need to do is, you will need to find the north of the A here. So what I will do over here is, I will add the north by myself. This is the north, because it must be parallel with this north. So, okay, since I have the north ready, and then I have the north over here also. Oh, sorry. Actually, A from B should be quite easy. So from B angle should be here. So this is the north. So this one is the north. Basically, you have the north ready. So I extend it. So that means I will need to find the angle from the north of the B. He rotate until I touch the line AB. So basically, it's from here. I rotate until here. So the whole thing here is my angle. The whole thing here, so if you want me to share, basically it's the whole thing here is with the angle uh, A from B. So basically we know the, this angle is 60, so basically in order to find the, the bearing, so you just use 360 minus 60 degree. Then you can easily get 300. Okay, so let's say I change the question a bit. I say the bearing B from A. So what you need to do is, in order to be from A, the angle at A here, isn't it? So you have to find from the north of the A here, rotate until you touch the line AB. Basically, you need to find the whole angle here. So what you can do over here, because you you do not know what is exactly uh, what is exactly this angle, you do not know here. 
But then actually we can easily find here because if here is 100 and here is 60, uh, you, you know here will be 120. So these two is parallel lines. So if this here is 120, so you basically you know here will be 60 because two interior angle plus together must equal to 180. Or if you learn about the Z method or the coil alternate method, if these two angle is the same, this angle is the same with this angle. Isn't it? So you can do the exact thing. So you know here is 60, here will be another 60. So if you can't see, so let me just draw it for you. Do you see some Z here? So basically this angle will same with this angle. So you will get 60 also. Right? So so if you know here is 60, so in order to find the uh the bearing B from A, this here is B, isn't it? From A here, I'm going to rotate until I touch the line A B. Basically, this is the whole angle I want to find, isn't it? So it's just 60 plus 60, it will be 120. Right, this is how to find the bearing B from A. Okay, so let me move on to the next example. So uh, uh, before I move on, let me just quickly explain. When these two is parallel, these two angles is the same, right? Just now I say, if these two lines is parallel, the interior angle will be the uh add together will, will be 180 or so. That means if this is angle A and B, I will say angle A plus angle B always equals to 180. You know, you must understand about this rule. So for example, if A A is 100, B will be 80. If if A if A is 120, B will be 60. Because both A together must be 180. Because this uh concept is quite important in the bearing topics. Okay, so let's have a look on uh, another example. So for this example, it will be uh, a little bit difficult compared to the previous example. So g given that the bearing of the B from C is 60 degree. Okay, for this one, you will find B from C, you, do, you don't see any 60 degree. So the purpose of the 60 here is trying to tell you where is the north. So the purpose of the 60 here is trying to tell you where is the north. So that means when I say B from C, angle at C here. So C here must have the 60 degree from the north, isn't it? But here only 50 degree. So I know I will need another 10 degree. So I, I'm going to imagine out the line by myself. So in order to add another 10 degree, I assume the north is somewhere here. So if north is somewhere here, if here is 10 degree, you, okay, so you, f you will find the whole sentence very makes sense. Bearing of B from C. B from C will be 60. You see, from the north of the C here, I rotate until I touch the line CB or BC. Basically, it's 60 degree. So, this is the, uh, the purpose of, of this uh, sentence is to tell you where is the north. Alright, then you will need to find the bearing B from A. So in order to find the bearing B from A, so B from A, angle will be at A here, because from A. So, so what I will do over here is I will add another parallel sort of parallel line at the A here, because yeah, I will need to add a north by myself in order to find the bearing. Okay, since if I know here is 10 degree, this two is parallel line, so that mean this angle will be both plus to get is interior internal angle or to call it, they call it interior angle. Both plus together must equal 180, like what I say just now. So if this is 10, this one will be 170. So do you find out the internal angle? So that's mean angle A plus angle B equals to 180. So this one is 170. Alright. Then what I want to do next is I want to find B from A. So because this is triangle, so we know add together is 180 or so. If this is 50, 70, 120, I know here will be 60 degree. So therefore, I can easily find out my third angle here. This is what the question one B from A. So that means from the north of the A, the angle going to rotate clockwise until I touch the line AB. So therefore, in order to get this angle, I'm going to use 360 minus 60 minus 170. So 360 minus 60 is 300. 300 minus this one, you will get 130. So this one is the bearing of B from A. But then the very difficult part is about this one. Because, 
a loss of student they were stuck here so when they see b from c is 60 degree they might think this question is something wrong because they only see 50. actually this question is correct just the question doesn't tell you where is actually the north so you have to figure it out by yourself all right so just move to the next example then i will end this video so if you have a loss of uh question you can just let me know yeah okay so look at this is the last question here okay bearing a from b is 330 find the bearing b from c all right this question is not too bad but then it's not too easy also so okay the first thing the question already gives me a north is is a good thing because i do not need to find a north by myself okay a from b the angle at b here so i find the b here okay i got the b so b rotate until the a is 330 so in this case i will, I will extend i will extend this line a little bit so this is what i will have so from the north of the b i rotate until i touch the line a b the whole thing here will be 330 this is according to the question so because this is triangle i have two angles already i definitely know here is 80 degree because 180 minus 100 so then okay then what next the question basically one b from c so if i have the north here i try to add another look like similar another north must be look like parallel to this one all right so the question basically want to find a bearing b from c so that's mean from here i will need to find out the whole angle okay so yeah this is the uh, difficult part so yeah in order to actually find out yeah we, we i guess i guess i guess we can try to find out this one okay so i know to find out this one so i know 330 minus 80 then i can get this one so if 330 degree i minus 80 degree basically i will have 250 okay 250 is the whole thing here so i minus 180 because this part actually is 180 isn't it so i minus 180 degree again so which is 70 so i know basically here is 70 degree Right, so if you know this 70 degree, I can I, I can make this one longer. Both of this line is parallel. Both of this line is parallel. So I can easily know here will be 110. So then I can understand this north basically is a straight line. 110 plus 40 is 150, so here will be 30 degree. So therefore, if the question asks for B from C, it means from C here, mean from the C here I going to rotate until the north or the C I'm going to rotate until I touch the line uh, BC so basically this is the total angle they want to find it's over here so basically it's very simple it's 30 degree plus 40 degree so basically you will get 70 degree so I'm going to write 7070 uh, because this is bearing so always in 3 digits all right i'm going to stop here if you have a lot of uh, questions please let me know of course you can find me in facebook and you can find me on youtube and now actually i create another channel is called telegram yeah so if you want to know how to join the telegram i actually will post the link on the description so you can go description there to find out because a lot of students they just doesn't check uh, youtube and facebook so often so i think the mobile app somehow will be quite useful for you yeah so yeah so for the telegram basically i will have a channel and group yeah but then for the channel you can only see you, you can only see the updates but then for the group basically you can ask ask me the question over there okay anyways thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this video bye bye see you next time